So as we progress as a society trying to think about this issue and the, this question of <clears throat> how do we improve on this, what would you suggest to society um, in general and, and then also specific practices? Well, specifically in the short run, what schools can do is implement what's called a threat assessment system. And some states now mandate this, but most don't. And the idea is that you have a multidisciplinary threat assessment team, and that would be people who are already working in the school. It would include an administrator, anyone working in mental health, a school psychologist or social worker. If you have a school resource officer, that person would be on the team and so on. So you represent on the team people with different backgrounds and areas of expertise. And the role of a threat assessment team is that if anyone brings a safety concern to their attention, they investigate and decide, is this a serious threat or is it a false alarm? Is it maybe just two kids in the hallway and one says something that it doesn't really mean, but may have said something to the effect of, do that one more time and I'm going to kill you. All right, is that a real homicidal threat or not? You don't know unless you investigate. So the idea mm -hmm. is to have people who are trained in investigating safety concerns. And it's not about punishing. It's not to suspend or expel or have the kid arrested. In fact, it's to try to avoid having those things done by ruling out all the false alarms that were not real threats. And by identifying a real threat early, then you can put systems in place, whether it's a mental health uh, support like outpatient counseling, maybe someone needs a short-term inpatient hospitalization if they're in acute crisis. Maybe they need some extra academic support or some training in social skills, or maybe they just need to be removed from a classroom where they have a lot of conflict with another student. But you can't resolve those issues unless you identify them early. So for some reason, as a nation, in the 20 plus years since Columbine, schools have focused on doing things like lockdown drills and have train, trainings on how to survive an active shooter. And those are important and could save lives, but those are what you do after you already have a gunman in the building. Those are not preventing the attack from happening in the first place. Right. So we focused on being reactive and we need that piece, but we also need the proactive piece of identifying the potential killer early, intervening, and hopefully then you don't need to go into lockdown. 